Have you ever played in World of Warcraft raids just to realize 3 minutes into the fight that there was a very important cooldown that you forgot to press or maybe a personal defensive? I'm pretty sure that happens to all of us, even to the best players, no matter if you're playing healer, DPS or a tank. And in today's video I'm going to show you how you can never ever miss a cooldown again in raid and play perfectly along with your teammates by simply using one very popular add-on and a weak core that comes along with it. So let's get started. The first thing that you need to do is install an add-on called Method Right Tools or simply MRT which comes along with very useful raid information like other classes, cooldowns and spells, combat logs, battle rest timers, etc. And then you need to add a weak aura called Case MRT Timers, the link for both of this you can find in the description of this video. After you get them with a little bit of setup which we'll get to in just a second, you can make a list of your cooldowns with timers of when you need to use them and that applies to every class no matter if you're a healer, DPS or tank. Before we get into the nitty gritty details of how to set this up, let me first show you an example of how this looks like on my Restoration Shaman in Raid. Over here I'll be getting both visual and audio notification to use some of my cooldowns. Earthen Wall Totem in Ape. Ancestral Guidance in Ape. Off Healing Active. Cloudburst Totem in Ape. Guys, is in three, make sure you collapse in. As you can see, I'm getting an icon in the middle of my screen along with a voice notification telling me when to use a specific cooldown. And the best part is that you can actually assign similar cooldowns to other people in your party. This not only ensures that you're not going to be missing your own cooldowns, but you can also use this too to distribute big healing cooldowns throughout the fight so they don't overlap. If that sounds appealing to you, let's get into the details of how you can set all of this up. Once you're in game you want to type slash MRT to open the options for this add-on. There are a lot of things in here but you're only interested into the first tab called Note. Once you click on it, you're presented with a screen which has a general note which is available to everybody in your raid. If that looks scary, don't worry, I'll show you how you can generate that automatically later on in the video. And the first thing that you want to do is click the Enable button on the top right corner to actually make the note visible on the screen. Once you do that, you can easily resize and move it on the screen. On the right you see the general note and on the left you see my personal note. The personal note of course has its own tab. And as you can see, I populated that with smaller cooldowns that I want to use throughout the fight. While on the right we have cooldowns for everybody in the raid including myself and my big healing cooldowns. The best part is, if you go to the general note tab, there is a send button at the bottom. If you change it and you send it, it's going to update for everybody in your raid, of course, in case they're using the MRT tools add-on. In the note, you can either put plain text or you can put the special strings that indicate that a certain person needs to cast a certain spell. I'll show you how to generate this in just a second, but those are the things that actually tie into the weak aura timers that I showed you earlier and puts the notifications in the middle of your screen. That also means that if you're only using those timers, you actually can minimize the note and make it as small as possible because you actually don't need to see it. The only thing that you're gonna be seeing are the timers in the middle of your screen. And this is usually how I have it, but for the purposes of this video, I made the notes intentionally a little bit bigger so you can see how they look. As you can also see, on the left hand side, you can add multiple notes and save them for future uses. There's an add button that adds a blank note, and there's even a drop down that will allow you to designate that this note is for a specific boss fight. You can create and edit as many notes as you need and cycle through them throughout the raid. And if you need to change your personal note, there's a button at the bottom right corner of the screen set as personal note. Once you click that, your personal note automatically becomes the one that you selected. You can of course also copy and paste certain notes into the general note and send them so everybody can see them in your raid group. And last but not least, if you formatted everything correctly in your note, you can open the weak auras options with the slash WA 
command in your chat and find the case MRT timers weak aura which you can then adjust on your screen it's going to display a text and an icon that you saw earlier tying back to the node that we already saw so the only thing that's left to do is tell you how you can actually format the nodes so they send the notifications to this week aura. Now when it comes to populating the node itself I'm going to show you two different approaches to the same problem and the first one is a site called lorgs.io. This site is actually quite useful for several different reasons. The first one you can pick your own class. In this case I'm going to select Restoration Shaman but you can easily pick any tank or DPS spec as well. And once you do that from the top right corner you can select the boss that you're interested in. Let's pick Smolderon. The first thing to note is the first row from the chart below which shows the boss and the corresponding abilities that they're going to cast. This of course is very useful because you want to know when to pop your cooldowns and even if you have a boss which is percentage based and not time based you can still get a basic idea of when events are going to happen. On the following rows you can see the top parsers in this case restoration shamans and when they use their cooldowns throughout the fight. On the top there is a selector which controls which skills you're going to see on the timeline. In this case I can turn on Earthen Wall Totem, Cloudburst Totem or just simply turn them off if I don't want to see them on the timeline. And then the best part is if you hover over the parsers on the left you're going to see a small copy icon next to their name. All you need to do is press that and you're presented with a new window. There is a text box at the top. Type your name there and it's going to generate the exact same string that you saw earlier in the node that you can just copy and paste over there. It's going to connect it to your character if you spelled your name correctly and the node is going to send the notifications to the timers easily just like that. If you go back and play with the selector up top and you change the spells that are displayed on the timeline, if you then go back and open the window again that generates the text, it will reflect these changes and only show the ones that you have selected for the timeline. So you can easily do that for every boss and generate notes for yourself but it's kind of hard to make changes because you have to understand those strings and make changes inside of them. So let me show you another way to generate the note which is not only going to allow you to easily make changes for yourself but it's also going to allow you to add other people to the note and connect them to their own skills. This connecting and sending notifications to every player in your raid and when they should be using a certain cooldown. For that purpose we're going to use a spreadsheet that we're going to fill in manually. Which is going to be a little bit more work than just copy and pasting it from lords.io but it's also going to give us a lot more control. There is a link to this spreadsheet in the description of this video so feel free to duplicate it from there and make your own. Now the first four columns are the most important ones. Let's start with the third one. This is the person who's going to be casting the skill. It could be you or it could be somebody else in your raid party. And then the fourth column shows the class of that person. It's not a mandatory column to have but it helps if you're filling up the cooldowns for everybody in your raid. The second column is the skill that that person needs to be casting. It comes from a drop down menu. And I'll show you how to change the items in that drop down menu in just a second. For now there are just shaman spells but you can easily add more. And then the first column is the timestamp of the time when you want to cast that specific skill. Here websites like lorgs.io could be very useful even if you're filling up this manually you can check the timings of the skills from there. Once you fill up as many rows as you need from those first four columns you can then scroll over to column F. You can now copy and paste the generated strings in that column into your node and you're done. You can then easily go back later and make more changes and you can also make different sheets for different bosses so you have them saved and ready to use. The last thing that I want to show you is how you can change the drop down for the skills. You have to scroll right to the column O and if you want to add a new skill you can manually add it below the current ones. However in order for the node to show the icon of the spell correctly you also have to add another column with the spell ID. And the easiest way to find out what the spell ID that you're looking for is to go to wowhead.com and type the name of the skill in the search bar up top. Select it to open the page for that specific skill and the spell ID is going to be in the URL above. You can just copy and paste it from there in your spreadsheet. So hopefully all of this is going to help you play perfect in rate and never miss a cooldown again. And if you have any questions or concerns let me know in the comments below.
Feel free to subscribe for more guides just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next one and I'll get out of here.